Hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video here, this is going to be a quick little tutorial showing you all how you can access the hidden web browser on the Nintendo Switch. Now, a few things here up front. This is not anything new. In fact, the Switch has actually had a browser built into it since day one. There's been different ways of accessing it, and this method I'm going to show you is not new. However, it is easy enough, and it is something that you all can check out, try for yourselves, and add some more accessibility on your Switch. Because I do think it is a nice little handheld that is capable, and on top of that, it would be nice to have a browser if you do want to access it here on the fly. Now the nice thing is here, you only need the Switch and access to the internet for this video. You do not need it to be modified and it works on all models. So it will work on the original Switch, the Lite, as well as the OLED. You do not need custom firmware, you do not need a chip, you do not need a jig, you do not need anything else. As long as you can take your working Switch and connect it to the internet, you're good to continue on. We're going to be accessing this thanks to Browse DNS, which is available for free. And if you want to check this out, you can check the link down below in the description because we're going to be using a DNS change right here. There's going to be two addresses to keep in mind. Really, if you're in the United States or North America, you're going to be using this address. If you're over in the UK or just the EU in general, you're going to be using this address. If you're not in either of those territories, you're probably going to want to use the one which is closest in proximity to you. In order to get started, you'll just need to go down to your settings, go into system settings, and navigate down to internet. Once you're in internet, go over to your internet settings and let it search for your network. Now you should see an option for a wired connection or your wireless connections, which are here. For me, I'm currently using a wired connection, so I'm going to connect to it. Within here, you need to go down to change settings. For DNS, you need to change this from automatic to manual, and now go down to primary DNS, and you're going to enter in the numbers required for your DNS server. You just need to enter one of them as the primary one. I'm going to have this linked down below in case these ever change, but as I said, if you're in North America, the US, or a close territory to it, you're going to want to use this address. If you're in the UK, the EU, or you're close to it, you're going to want to use this address. You just need to set one of them as the primary DNS. Once that's been set, it should look like this. And once that's all done, you can come over and hit save. Hit OK. Now go back and let it search for your networks. Now, if you want to access the web browser, you're going to have to go to the connection that you plan to use, go into there, and go to connect to the internet and give it a few moments. It should fail out here saying that registration is required to use this network. Just go ahead, tap next, Give it a few moments. Now it should change over to this screen and check it out. We are now in the browser itself. You're going to want to give it a few moments to load, but as you can see here, this is where it should bring you to, which is the browse DNS forms. So if you ever want to make an account here and you want to get some more usage out of browse DNS, you're always welcome to do that. But you can go ahead and play around with the controls a little bit and you can see that you're able to access this pretty easily, thankfully. Now do keep in mind here, just as a heads up, the Switch's browser is a little bit limited. So for example, one of the complaints here is the Switch's browser is slow. Yes, that is true, it is going to be slow. On top of that, there's also going to be things such as YouTube videos that are not going to work on here. And as a final thing, one thing you should make note of is the browser timeout. Just so you don't get too comfortable right here, do keep in mind that after about 20 minutes, the browser will close out, so you can only use this for about 20 minutes at a time. However, if we end up going back, you are able to make some quick links, and some of the recommended quick links would be this one, for example, which is the Switch Brew dashboard. You can come over here, let this load in, and check this out. This here does look like your Switch is running, However, this is actually not your Switch. This is just a really nicely done website. So from here, if you want to access Google, you can just hit this button here, which is continue to Google, and then you can search for whatever you want to. I'm actually going to go back here because you can also go to enter URL and you can go to whichever URL you would like to here. So at this point, you can just come over here enter in your URL, and load up whatever page you'd like. If we want to do something a little bit ironic, how about we end up going to PSX Place on a Switch? You can just go ahead, type in your URL, hit that button, and as you can see, we're over at the form here. Now, again, this browser is not perfect, but it is a little bit cool to play around with, and it does give you some added accessibility on your Switch. So you can go ahead, have some fun, check it out here, and experiment a little bit if you want to. Now, do keep in mind, internet, for example, if you want to access online play and such, is not going to be properly accessible with this DNS. So whenever you want to turn this off, you can just go back over to your system settings, 
go down to internet, go to internet settings. And when you're over here, you want to go over to your connection that you've made, go down to change settings. And for your DNS settings, you're going to want to flip this back to automatic and then save. Once that's been saved, you can go ahead and try to connect to the internet yet again. Give it a few moments here, and at this point, you should be able to get back online. So if you want to play your online games, you're more than welcome to. However, every time you want to use the browser, you will just have to flip over to that DNS. Anyways, that is about it for this video here. Hopefully it helped out, hopefully it was easy enough to set up, and if you enjoyed it, a like would absolutely be appreciated. If you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too. But as I always say, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.